Do you ever just get weirded out by the super creepy experience of meeting like a 45 year old child? What is going on? Welcome to the Risen Following Podcast. I am your host, Mark Hendrickson. And if you're brand new to this show, then what you can expect is open and authentic conversations about things like mental health and self-development and how to get your life moving in the right direction if you're not feeling good about where you are right now. So, how is everybody doing today? Happy Thursday. It is Thursday today, the Friday to Friday, baby. We are pushing through this week. I'm feeling pretty good. It is uh, one of those weeks where I'm just kind of feeling like uh, really ain't nothing a motherfucker can tell me. I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling jacked up. I have uh, pretty high energy right now. I, uh, I actually had a pretty solid day, got a bunch of work done today, and uh, I'm feeling prepped for the week to come feeling good feeling like uh, i've got all my eggs in in uh the taken care of basket i don't know what kind of uh what what i was gonna say there but that's what i was gonna say so i'm doing well hope you're doing well let's rock and roll today um i was thinking about this today because and i was thinking back to how many people you've met like how many people i've met or uh maybe you can do this thought as well where you if you think back you know if you think back to all the people that you've met in your life. I'm sure you've come across this experience where sometimes you meet somebody who's like 45 or 50 years old and they act like a fucking child. Absolutely. Like it's, it's absurd. Sometimes you think like, am I going crazy? Like, why does this person, you know, they're speaking like a teenager or thinking like a teenager, like the, they're reacting so immaturely. And then on the flip side, Sometimes you interact with people or you uh, you meet people where, you know, it's a young person, maybe like 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 27, I don't know, like someone in their like late teens, early 20s. And, uh, you know, speaking to them, you're like, whoa, this person's like an old soul. Like, I feel like this person's like, uh, you know, uh, a 60 year old, like the way that they have their priorities, the way that they, what their values and morals, what they stand for, the way they speak sometimes, like sometimes how formal or respectful they are, something about their energy, something about the essence that they give off is like, you know, like, uh, beyond their years, like wisdom beyond their own years. And uh, I was thinking about this today, like how you have this like weird juxtaposition in the people that you meet. Some people are like way more mature than they should be for their age. And, and uh, some people are way more immature than they should be for their age. And, and um, you know, I'm sure there's a good mix of that as well. Like I'm sure even for myself, like I'm sure sometimes people have conversations with me and they're like, wow, this 28 year old seems like, uh, you know, like an eight year old. And then there's other times where people are talking to me and you're like, wait, uh, you know, this, this guy seems like he's like a 58 year old, you know, like the way that kind of in particular, the way that I'm in bed at four o'clock or I mean in, uh, in bed at like eight o'clock at night and up at like four o'clock in the morning. And yeah, just, you know, I'm sure you guys kind of have experienced what I'm talking about. And so what I wanted to go over today is kind of like my own kind of theory on why that may happen, what kinds of things might uh, impact how mature that we are or, or how much wisdom we gain. I feel like that's kind of what, what we're actually talking about here because there's such a huge difference between in, uh, intelligence and wisdom. You know, uh, I think uh, intelligence is like, people that uh, know a lot of facts, know a lot of things. They, they you know, a really like intelligent person, um, you know, maybe when they, when they come across like a problem in their life, they've like researched that thing. They've heard about that thing. They've got a lot of like wisdom. They've got a lot of knowledge. They've got a lot of like facts. And then I guess, uh, well, yeah, like I was saying, wisdom, the other side of that is like somebody that just knows how to think. It's not like, you know, like, it's like, uh, yeah, 
you know, the, the uh, intelligent person knows what to think and the uh, person with a lot of wisdom knows how to think. Like kind of like when they come across problems, they're like, oh, okay, I've seen something like this before or they have like this weird intuition and I guess that's why we call it wisdom. It's, it's, uh, that's a good word to describe it. And so well, I was thinking about this and, uh, you know, I think that in a lot of cultures we hear, you know, you got to respect your elders. You got to, and I th- that's true. You know, you do have to respect your elders. You should be respectful to them. You should speak to them. You should, you know, uh, in a respectful manner, you should not treat them poorly. Uh, You should not have any ill will towards them. And, you know, unless they're fucking weird, evil people. But most people are not that. (sighs) Sorry, I was just drinking some water. But, you know, I, I was thinking about this. And so intelligence you know, and wisdom. They're so, uh, you know, we hear a lot about intelligence. We hear a lot about education, how smart somebody is, how much they know, how well they test, how well they can, you know, meet criteria, whatever that is. Um, but very rarely do I, I feel like, do we talk about wisdom? And I think that, you know, even this type of topic in and of itself can become like this kind of weird woo woo, like, uh, you know, what are we really talking about? What are we talking about here? You know, you might think that. That's what I think a lot of the time when I uh, am talking. I think, what the, f- what am I talking about here? But um, the wisdom, you know, I feel like when I think about the types of people, and, and, you know, I've met a lot of people like this in my life where, you know, it's like a 19, 20 year old, 21, 22 year old, like a young guy that, um, you know, you speak to sometimes and, and very oftentimes I'll say that this person, the, you know, these types of people that I'm thinking about or talking about, they're very even rarely from Canada like or America. Like a lot of the time these people are from other places. And the reason that that ties into it is because I think that if you've grown up in North America, you've had a very sheltered and very um, coddled, very comfortable and safe life. And I think that a lot of the times what we value in wisdom the, you know, the, the life experiences, the adversities overcome, the stress that's been managed, the people that have depended on you, the overcoming of the feeling like, I don't know if I can continue going or keep going on. Or, you know, when you, when you have to actually face real struggles and then you overcome those things, that's actually truly, in my opinion, personally, how you gain wisdom and how you gain maturity. You know, the, the difference between a boy and a man is having the, the innocence of, of, uh, of the child taken away. And so I think that a lot of the time when we have, uh, and what I mean by innocence as well, what I should say is that, that kind of like glassy eyed, like looking at the world, like everything's all sunshine and roses and and rainbows and, and it's all peaceful and beautiful. When you have that veil stripped away from you and you realize that this world can be dangerous, this world can be stressful, this world can be scary and, and uh, uncomfortable. And, and you're going to have to face those things voluntarily because if you don't, then, then those things are going to creep up on you when you least expect it and catch you off guard. And that in and of itself is how you achieve wisdom by exposing yourself to that. You know, just trying to think of what, what ways am I too comfortable in my life? What ways have I been too, you know, complacent or too stagnant, too comfortable? Um, and how can I change that? And how can I gain some wisdom? You know, if you feel like you, you um, are just kind of floating through life or you feel like overwhelmed or stressed because of the, uh, the things that you may be facing, it might be time to wisen up. It might be time to gain some wisdom and think like, do I have people depending on me? How can I, how can I take care of them a little bit better? Do I have adversities that I'm facing right now? Or have I faced adversities in the past that have made me, you know, reflect back on the things that you have overcome in the past? I think that, you know, truly, uh, if you want to gain wisdom, if you want to gain, you know, then, then you got to do things that help you gain wisdom. You know, when you look at intelligence, if you want to get more intelligent, if you want to get smarter, you got to study, you got to learn, you got to try and, you know, read about and hear about, maybe get some instruction on 
different things. But if you want to gain wisdom, not intellect, but wisdom, if you want to gain wisdom, it's not about studying or reading these things. It's about actually doing them and learning through experience because wisdom is gained through life experience. And so on that note, I don't know if that gives you guys a new perspective. If you like that kind of topic, if you like that kind of uh, episode, then share with a friend or let me know, write a little review on the podcast platforms or leave a little comment on YouTube. But on that note, I hope you guys have a good weekend. Kept it short today. Um, I'll see you guys on Monday. Much love. Peace out. Love you all. Bye.